today's lesson. Magandang araw mga bata! Ang lesson natin ngayon ay tungkol sa Omicron Scale B. Ano nga mga paralagahan ng pagpapasa ng Omicron Scale? Una, alam naman natin na ang Omicron Scale ay matatagpuan sa multimeter. Ang multimeter ay ginagamit upang itest kung ang ating mga components ay may sila. Pangalawa, ang Omicron Scale ay ginagamit upang basahin ang resistance value ng ating mga resistor. Good morning students, and for today, I'm going to teach you on how to read the Omnitor Scale. I'm Teacher Stephen. So the scale is divided into parts. Each part is valued differently per line. Ibig sabihin, ang bawat linya dito sa ating scale ay may iba't ibang values per line natin, yung tinatawag natin calibration. So from 0 to 2, iba ang value per each small lines, same with 2 to 10. 10 to 20, 20 to 50, 50 to 100, and 100 to 200 hanggang sa dulo. So each of these lines are not equally uh, divided. They have different values uh, depending on the range. So paano natin malalaman ang value ng bawat maliliit na guhit sa ating ohmmeter scale? So to find the value of each calibration, each small line, we have to follow this formula. So, for us to know the calibration, we have to divide the line distance divided by the total number of calibration. Here's an example. So, for the range of 0 to 2, okay, yung pinakasimula natin. So, we have to identify the value of each small lines here. Oh, yan. So, ang gagawin natin? For 0 to 2, we're going to subtract first the numbers. So, 2 minus 0. Sa ganun paraan, you're going to determine the line distance. So, 2 minus 0 is 2. Therefore, the line distance is 2. The next step is to count the number of calibrations from this one, the first uh, small line after 0, up to this number, number 2. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, the total calibrations uh, from 0 to 2 is 10. For us to determine the values of these small lines, you have to divide the line distance to the total calibration. So 2 divided by 10 is equal to 0 0.2. Okay? Therefore, line between 0 and 2 is value 0 0.2 per line. So each small line here is value 0 0.2, starting from this one. So this is 0.2. 0.4, 0.6, 0.8, then 1. Then another 0.2, 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, 1.9, then 2. For the next bracket, and this, uh, this is for 2 to 10. So the first thing that you need to do is to subtract the numbers. So 10 minus 2. So 10 minus 2 is 8. Therefore, the line distance is 8. Then, we have to count the number of small calibrations between 2 up to 10. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, the total calibration is 16. So, for us to know the values of each uh, small calibrations, we have to divide the line distance to the total calibration. So, 8 divided by 16 is 0 0.5. Therefore, lines between 2 and 10 is value 0 0.5 per line. So, each small line here is 0 0.5. So, 2 plus 0 0.5, this will be 2.5. Additional 0 0.5, this will be 3. Then, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5. 5.5, 6, 6.5, 7, 7.5, 8, 8.5, 9, 9.5, then 10. Let us have another example. For the range of 10 to 20. So the first thing that you need to do is to identify the line distance. You have to subtract this number, 20 and 10. 20 minus 10 is 10. Therefore, the line distance is 10. 
now we have to count the number of calibrations from here to here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, the total calibration is 10. So, we need to divide again. 10 divided by 10 is equal to 1. Therefore, each length between 10 and 20 is valued 1 per line. So, 10 plus 1, the first line will be 11. The next one is 12. The next is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 20. For the range of 20 to 30, same process again. We're going to subtract the two numbers to identify the line distance. So 30 minus 20 is 10. So the line distance is 10. Now we have to count the number of calibration in between. So 1, 2, 3, 4, then 5. So the total calibration is 5. Then we're going to divide it again. Line distance divided by the total calibration. So 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. Therefore, each of these lines is valued 2 per line. So 20 plus 2, this first line will be 22. Next is 24, 26, 28, then 30. Same uh, process for the bracket of 50 to 30. So we have to subtract 50 minus 30. Good. The line distance is 20. Now we have to count the number of calibrations 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The total calibration is 10. So 20 divided by 10 is equal to 2. So therefore, lines between 30 and 50 valued 2 per line. So each of these small lines here is 2. So 30 plus 2 in this first line is 32, 34, 36, 38, and 40. 42, 44, 46, 48, and 50. For the range of 50, P to 100, again, we need to subtract the two numbers, 100 minus 50. So, 50, uh, 100 minus 50 is 50. Then, count the number of calibrations, starting from this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The total calibration is 10. So, we have to divide the line distance to the total calibration. So, 50 divided by 10 is equal to 5. Therefore, lines between 50 and 100 is valued 5 per line. So, starting from this first line after 50, this is 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, and 100. For the line distance between 100 and 200, same process, we need to subtract two numbers, 200 and 100. Okay, so 200 minus 100 is very good. That is 100. So the line distance is 100. Then we have to count the small calibrations in between. So starting from this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, then 5. So the total calibration is 5. So the line distance divided by the total calibration, so 100 divided by 5 is equal to 20. Therefore, lines between 100 and 200 is valued 20 per line. Okay? So, starting from this small line after 100, this is 120, 140, 160, and 180. Hello, students! May natutunan ba kayo sa unang parte ng ating aralim? Subukan natin ang inyong galing sa pagbabasa. Tignan ang ometer scale sa inyong screen. Ang pointer ay nakaturo sa mga linyang nasa pagitan ng 0 at 2. Ang bawat linya ay may difference ng 0.2. Ano ang ating initial reading? Tama! Ang ating initial reading ay 0.4. Sa pagkakatong ito, gamitin natin ang range selector at iset natin ito sa times 10. Para makuha ang final reading, i-multiply lang natin ang initial reading sa range setting. Kaya, 
0.4 times 10 is equal to 4 ohms. Subukan natin muli sa pagkakatong ito, ang line distance kung saan nakaturo ang ating pointer ay nasa 5 to 10 at ito ay may line difference ng 0.5. Ano ang ating initial reading? Tama! Ang initial reading natin ay 8.5. Ngayon, ay itakda naman natin ang range setting sa 100. Para makuha ang ating final reading, i-multiply ang initial reading sa range setting. 8.5 times 100 is equal to... Ano kaya ang sagot, mga bata? Tama! 850 ohms ang ating final reading. Mula sa grade 8, Kamigin. Mula sa grade 8, Cavite. Mula sa grade 8, Batanes. Ah!